Hi everyone, this is Gina with Treehouse Crafts and today is December 21st, 2016. Today I believe is the first day of winter and I would like to share some projects that I've been doing. <clears throat> the last few weeks here in the Antelope Valley we have had very very cold temperatures um, the lows being in, you know, 20 degrees or so. And so I started making some some hats. Now the types of yarn that I've used, <coughs> excuse me, is um, the chunky weight yarn. And um, the pattern that I used, which I really like her pattern, is actually it was like six years ago that I found this particular um YouTube channel and it was called or it's called Threadbanger and the hat the name of the hat I don't recall um, but anyway this was her pattern that I got from her channel and it's really cute but it's quite large this is the one that I did and it's really cute but you know like if you want to put your hair all up and you have all this room up here to fit all your hair up into. So that's that one. Now what I did is I modified the uh, the pattern just to make it a little smaller. Now the ridge is here, how it has the you know the indentations right here. Those are the decreases and I didn't really like the way that was coming out so I changed that a little bit. So let me show you another one I did. This one's a little smaller, and again, it's the same type of yarn, the chunky, chunky weight yarn, and it came out a lot smaller, and it fits, um, well, I think the diameter was like, gosh, I don't remember the diameter, but it fits, you know, um, a teenage girl just say that. A little too small for me. And I do not have a good face for hats. I wish I did, but I don't. I don't look good in hats. Um, so I'm just making them as gifts. Or if I have to leave early in the morning to take my daughter to school, I just throw on one of these, one of these hats. Who cares? I don't, sometimes I just don't care. As long as I'm warm. So again, I use the chunky weight yarn and I started with a variegated uh, chunky yarn and then I just used changed the yarns to solid black and this was because I didn't have too much yarn and I didn't know if that would run out or not so I just kind of did that. So let me go ahead and put it on the head. Oops. My daughter usually likes to model these for me, but I doubt very much if she's going to want to put all these on for a video. This is the next one. And again, you can tuck all your hair up into it. I think this one came out really cute. A little bit smaller than the other one. There's that one. I'll some frame. Okay, now the next one I did again, I even modified it a little bit more, and that's the black one here. Switch it onto the head. Now recently there has been a craze with these, these messy bun hats. I'll show you. I've made a couple of those as well. And here's one. I, I like this one. I like the way this one came out. <coughs> Excuse me. This is the basic shape. I like this one too. Really cute. Black. So 
looks like. I love these settings, they're so warm. And the final one that I did, this is the one that I actually really, really like. This is the last modification that I did. A lot smaller. But I really like the shape. And here it is. Here's the shape. I like the top how it came out. It's more of a rounded look. Here's the sides. Same type of yarn, the chunky weight yarn. Very cute. This one was my favorite, so I'm going to be making some more of these for my family. Okay, now the next hat is going to be, <coughs> actually it's not a hat, it is a, they've called, I've seen it called an ear warmer or just a regular headband. Now this pattern, I followed a YouTube channel, One Virtuous Woman, and she has a very easy pattern to follow. And this yarn, I mean this one here was just kind of like a, a test pattern to see if I could do it. And it's really cute. It's just some scrap yarn that I had. And it's just a regular four ply variegated. And this is what it came out to. It's really cute. I can wear this. I don't look silly in this. <laughs> I just don't have the right shape head for for hats. Uh, I know. Not even baseball caps, which I love to wear. The only thing that looks decent on me is a... Mm, well, when my hair's permed and kinky and fluffy, I can wear hats. But, you know, but the ones I can only wear that doesn't make me look too silly is a visor and headbands. So that's that one. Excuse me, and I made one out of the uh, chunky weight. Now this one is strictly a, a headband. Or an ear warmer, I shouldn't say that because it covers your ears nicely. It's nice and warm. Put it on the head so you can see what it looks like. And here it is. Oh, I don't even have it on right. <laughs> in fact, let's try that again. I hope it's in frame. But that's what this one looks like. This is really super warm. Really nice and to wear when you have to run out for early morning errands when it's cold. Okay. Now, <clears throat> to the, the craze. Everyone is making the messy bun hat. And the one that we followed, my aunt was over, and um, we crocheted uh, the pattern from, her name was Melanie Ham. She has a real nice, easy tutorial to follow. And basically, you just size it to your head. There's no set number of rows, no set number of stitches. It's just kind of like measure your head, crochet, and you're done kind of thing. So let me go ahead and put this on. And here, let's see, well, this is kind of a little head, so. So here's what this one looks like. It's the same type of yarn, the chunky variegated. Here's the hole for the top of your either a ponytail or you just use a, have a bun on top and there's the opening for that. Super, super warm and cozy. I really like this one. You know, and as I'm crocheting them, I do jot down the measurements, you know, just in case, you know, I make it for a particular person, it doesn't fit, so then I'll add a few rows or 
or um, stitches, depending on the size that I want to get. And here is the last one that I did. Same type of thing. This is the chunkier, chunkier yarn. Super, super soft. Love it. Now, in the past, I've tried to make projects with this particular yarn, and I've always had trouble with it because if I made a mistake in a count or something, I've always had trouble undoing it, and it would get stuck, drove me crazy, so I stopped using it. Well, when my aunt came over the other night, she had some of this, and she made one, and um, so she let me use some of hers, and I really like the way that it came out with this hat. So let's put this on our model here. And here she is. Now this opening is a lot bigger. For those of you, or my family members that have a lot of hair, I hardly have any. Mine's super thin. Hate it. And this is what it looks like. Super, super warm. Well, I hope you can see in there in, in the view there. So that's the last one I did. Now I do have one on the hook right now. This again is a different type of pattern. Now I have it written down. I didn't think I was going to be doing a video right now, but I do have it written down. I'll hope to remember to put her name on the description below so everyone knows where I got the pattern from. But what she did is she used <clears throat> um, a hair tie. She starts out with a, a single crochet on the hair tie. Does the necessary number of chain stitches across and back. I chain one and turn and go all the way back up and then attach another single crochet. And you keep repeating this until you get your desired width. <clears throat> and of course you would go ahead and stitch it up the side either by using a a slip stitch or a single crochet, you know, whatever you want to do. And then roll that up. You can stitch it if you like. And there's another version of the... This one, I think it's they called it on this particular video, was a ponytail hat. <clears throat> so that you can put your hair up in there. So that's what I'm doing now. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. I hope everyone has a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And